Good evening. I'm Johnny Cook with Premier Bank of the South and Coleman City Council. Tonight I'm going to read to you a bedtime story from Winnie the Pooh, What Good Friends Do. One night in the Hundred Acre Wood, a nervous piglet could not sleep. Oh dear, Piglet said. I better just stay here until morning, keeping watch for Himaluffs, Woozles, and other creatures that come out at night. The next morning, Pooh knocked on Piglet's door, but there was no answer. Ever curious, Pooh opened the door and stepped inside. He found his friend shivering beneath the covers. Oh, bother, said Pooh. What's the matter, Piglet? Don't you hear it, Pooh? said Piglet. I do hear it, said Pooh, and it sounds lovely to me. All Pooh hear was the birds. Not the birds, Pooh, said Piglet. It's the wolves and the heffalumps that set their traps inside my house. I don't see anyone in here except you and me, Piglet, said Pooh. How how can that be, asked Piglet. I'm sure they are here. Those creatures keep me up all night. Perhaps you were dreaming, said Pooh. Let's look around and make sure they're not here. What's that whooshing and whistling, cried Piglet. It's the wind blowing through your curtains, Pooh said. Are you sure, asked Piglet. It sounds rather wuzzlish to me. If there was a wuzzle about, I think I would know it, Pooh said. Soon Rabbit stopped by with some freshly picked apples. Just then, a horrible banging and clanging began, sending Piglet beneath a chair. I believe your pipes need some tightening, said Rabbit. My tool kit and I will be back in a jiffy. They heard a plip, plip, plop through the kitchen. Pooh went over to Piglet's sink and turned the faucet left and right. That should do the trick, he said. I do hope Rabbit hurries, said Piglet. All these noises are making me nervous. Pooh turned to his friend. I think I know a way to help. What if you pretend to be brave even if you're really not? Piglet considered this. What good is pretending when there are heffalumps and woozles about? Well, Pooh said, perhaps you might get so busy being brave that you forget that you're pretending, and then you can go on being brave. Pooh spent the rest of the noisy day at Piglet's. Oh dear, Pooh, said Piglet, I'm not pretending to be brave very well, am I? I'll keep watch tonight, Piglet, said Pooh, tucking Piglet into bed. Maybe we can try pretending in the morning. But soon Piglet heard a strange sigh, followed by a long snore. Carefully on tippy toes, Piglet made his way over to Pooh's chair. Sure enough, the strange sounds were coming from Pooh. That's funny, said Piglet. Pooh sounds just like a woozel when he snores. But I'd better let him sleep. I'll keep watch myself. In the morning, Pooh awoke to find Piglet outside, waving a broom in the air. Look, Pooh, I'm shooing these blackbirds away. They've been calling and screeching at me. Pooh looked at his friend. Let's take a walk. When you see there's nothing scary out there, it might help you feel brave. Piglet stopped to admire a butterfly and then noticed he was alone. Just then, Piglet heard a strange humming sound. Pooh, he whispered, is that you? When there was no answer, 
Piglet began to shake. He quickly hid behind a thick oak tree. Be brave, be brave, be brave, Piglet said to himself again and again. Piglet took three deep breaths. Then he stepped out from behind the tree. Be brave, he whispered. Piglet walked on bravely, looking for Pooh. He listened closely when he heard a curious crunching and scrunching. I'm not afraid, Piglet told himself. It's just some birds or squirrels or mice or Pooh. Is that you? Yes, it's me, Piglet, said Pooh. The leaves are making quite a racket today. But you didn't hide. You didn't shout or cry. You were very brave. However, did you do that? I'm not sure, said Piglet. I wasn't even pretending. I just told myself that I wasn't afraid. Pooh hugged his friend. I couldn't have done it without you believing in me, Pooh. That helped me believe in myself, Piglet said. Well said, Pooh. That's what good friends do. Well, that's the end of the story for tonight. I hope you have pleasant dreams and see you in the morning.